to a certain extent, it's something that I have been spared because I'm not quite uh, at the point where I'm doing that level of work. Um, but it's definitely, it's definitely the case that, you know, you have to meet things out um, and, you know, sometimes there's a very clear way to, to approach something. And sometimes you have, you know, one thought that will vex you for weeks. You know, you keep coming back to it and each time you read it, you're like, this isn't quite getting there. And you don't know what there is, but you have a sense of it as something. And you're trying to figure out, you know, is it, is it the thought itself needs to be teased out more? Is it the way that the thought's being expressed doesn't actually get at what the thought is? Um, I mean, it's the same sort of thing that you encounter in any sort of editorial process, um, regardless of the of the discipline. It's not like this is anything you know special or unique to us. Um, but one thing I guess that is a little unique to the museum setting is that it's not just that you're writing or you know editing or working on the the book and then the book is printed and then it's done because then you are to a certain extent revisiting everything uh, a few weeks after the book is done or a few months after to you know work on the exhibition and then you're exploring the same thoughts the same themes maybe in a slightly different way I mean definitely in a slightly different way because we're going from maybe a several hundred page book to like a 150 word you know, intro text or something like that. I mean, that's different. It requires you to think about the, the content in a very different way. But, um, you know, it all it all feeds back into itself. Um, what you, you know, work through uh, incrementally sort of keeps feeding back into the way that you think about the show, that you think about the artist, you think about how we're talking about this. Definitely, I think that's a part of it. I mean, there are times I will sit with something up on my screen for an entire day, and I will get nowhere with it. I will know exactly what it is that I want to work on, and I'll look at it and I think, I don't, I don't have it yet. And then I'll, you know, go away and maybe read something either completely different to distract me or something related to maybe provide another, you know, window in, and then you'll come back to it and you'll think, I still don't have it, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, a day or two later you'll open it up and there it was, and why was it so hard, because it's obvious, um, it's just all of these micro epiphanies that you, you get to keep coming back to.